So our digital life is like gaining more and more importance in our lives and uh, I think in 20 years time we look back and uh, we like laugh actually that we didn't have identity on internet, we didn't have names, we didn't know who we each other are. So what e-resence is, is that actually it gives names to random users on internet and you can start trusting each other because you know who you are and you know that the government has actually issued you this document. I think e-residence is something which can redesign how we think of the nation state. When we've had countries, we had people coming into the countries, we give them residency rights, we give them citizenship rights. I think what Estonia is doing is kind of turning it all upside down. Even the slogan that, you know, one million nation wants to have 10 million e-residents kind of shows that it's something completely new. It means that uh, you can start making business international, for example. Wherever you are, you don't need to be located in one country and make business there. Uh, people are nowadays moving, they are mobile. And you can establish corporations through e-residency, bank accounts, get PayPal or Stripe accounts and making business internationally without any restrictions. And this is what people, especially from the developing world, really desire. Access to EU, access to online business world and access to actually do entrepreneurship career in their life. The Estonia Showroom uh, is a government agency and the purpose of us is to be kind of the embassy for everything uh, connected to Estonia. Uh, we're also the communication hub for e-residency, uh, which is the newest initiative uh, from Estonia. We host foreign delegations uh, and we show them live uh, what the Estonian solutions are. So we actually show them what you can do. And for many people, it is uh, very hard to comprehend that uh, with the help of just an ID card, I can do everything. So I can vote from my mobile phone, you know, where it uh, <laughs> seems like magic. Or uh, especially for some countries, it's very, very hard to understand that I can make a tax declaration in one minute. The Estonia showroom acts uh, as a collaboration project between the private uh, and the public sector, which means that that we don't only showcase our wonderful country here, but also the private sector companies. So everything from very, very small startups uh, to large companies uh, like Skype. Um, and all of the solutions that we show entail everything from the cross-border uh, uh, online solution, uh, GoSwift. For example, like Figure Again, uh, which is meant to uh, do a gene test on you, so that you can uh, see how you can make some lifestyle changes uh, to benefit you the most. And uh, to the really basic things like uh, M-parking uh, or how to sign documents digitally. as basically everything uh, that has something to do with technology and how it affects your life. So our purpose is to show that uh, we're, not, um, uh, we're, we're not about uh, very grand uh, things or we're not about the glamorous uh, stuff in IT, but we want to show that we're truly a digital society, which means that people benefit in their lives in very, very small things. That's the concept uh, behind that. And people tell us, aren't you scared that you will spend your entire lives uh, behind a computer? Like, aren't you too attached? You know, will, it, will the next generation be born with a smart hand, uh, uh, you know? Uh, but uh, I think it's exactly the opposite. The fact that we can do things online actually gives us more time uh, to spend in the forests uh, or with your friends or, or with your family. Like my colleague, he signed his uh, work contract uh, for the showroom while he was fishing on the sea. The residency in itself, uh, it is like a philosophical thing. We're creating a nation without borders and we're creating like this uh, virtual space, uh, kind of like when Second Life uh, launched the virtual embassies and everybody thought it was crazy. But I think it was the first step uh, to a world that, that actually is becoming more digitalized. Where it actually then can lead, this is also interesting to actually see and uh, we are experimenting the same way that uh, what it means if uh, one government is opening up their digital world to others and uh, how other governments need to react on this, uh, whether they see this as a, a positive trend, which we can cooperate, let's say how Finland and Stone actually today are cooperating, finding ways how we can improve each other's systems, or other governments who find this as competitive and uh, see this as someone taking our citizens. For me personally, I think the most important thing about e-residency is that pr it provides us with a vessel uh, to go, go abroad and to be sort of a pioneer, to show everyone that government uh, e-services can be secure, they can be private uh, and they can be, you know, 
well, working. <laughs> we have been doing this stuff for 15 years, so we have had, we have had our challenges, of course, uh, but to show people that there is a way to do things, you know, there is a smart solution that can be provided, I think this is the greatest thing. And we think about digital society, we shouldn't be thinking about a revolution or like, uh, you know, these concrete paradises with LED lights. So that's the philosophy you should have, uh, not about destruction, but more about building, you know, it's like uh, inclusion, not exclusion. E-Estonia is really a fantastic experiment. Uh, I think Estonia is now a startup among nations in the world. But now I think this is a very good initiative to give us back power uh, and control and privacy. This is uh, really a unique opportunity to provide us digital citizens of planet Earth something really cool and exciting. Uh, it's an opportunity, of course, for us entrepreneurs to, to, well, perhaps to start up a company or to do something together, have cooperation or something like that. But it's, I think it's larger than that. It is also an initiative for people who, that can benefit people who, for example, are living in countries that don't have that many opportunities for entrepreneurship. Estonia tries to be here as tra transparent as possible. We, uh, we don't want to take other taxes which don't belong to Estonia. We are helping other governments to make their citizens trust their governments even more because if, if people trust in Estonia, Estonian government, they actually can see the services, how useful they are, then perhaps this enables other governments also to open up services, uh, services on digital world, make them more productive and make people more happy. I think that Estonia is about smart solutions. Uh, I think that's what we need to show people, that you don't have to be, uh, you know, huge to be great. Yes! <laughs>